this is the first part of series of videos about how to use CLIN in competitive programming. We want to cover a lot of CLIN features that can boost your coding speed. You may hear that CLIN is slow and it's inefficient to use it during contests or for solving problems, but I want to show you that this is not true. In my 10 years of experience in competitive programming, when I was a student, I mean high school student, I started coding using Emacs. Emacs uh, is a uh, just an editor, it's not an IDE. Then after six years, I switched to Sublime. I started using it. Again, Sublime is an editor, not an IDE. And finally, I switched to CLIN, which is an IDE. So, <clears throat> Every time I try to switch a better environment for my coding so I can boost my speed in competitive programming competitions, problem solving, and make my coding, debugging, and all of that faster. So you may consider that uh, Sublime is better than Emacs. And also, CLIN is better than all of them. So, uh, let me first talk about the difference between editor and IDE. Editor is just a software that you write code inside it. It doesn't compile your code, your code and it doesn't understand the logic of your code. But IDE is different. It understands your code when you are writing it. So let's see why it's good to use CLIN in competitive programming. There are two major reasons that people think that CLIN is not good for competitive programming. The first is they say that CLIN is not free. And the second one is that they say that CLIN is so, so slow and it can't be efficient during the contest. So let's resolve these conflicts first. About the first one, I mean, it's not free. Yes, it's free for students. So if you are a student, I mean, a high school student or university student, for example, you can use CLIN for free. Also about not being fast. I accept that CLIN is not, for example, as fast as VIM is, but it works. I mean, the features it has that we will talk about that will make it worse compared to VIM or other fast editors or IDs like VS Code or Emacs and Sublime. So let's see. We will not cover installation part and configuration of CLIN. You can find it in other sources. We want just to focus on its features to use in competitive programming. So the first thing which is obvious but it worth mentioning is CLIN supports autocomplete. So let's start with an example that we want to use a function like partial sum, which is a function in STDC++. So when I start writing partial, it comes with partial sum, partial sort, partial sort copy, partition, and yeah, some functions like this. So when I uh, select partial sum, it comes with some hints in above that you can see. So it 
provides me some suggestions which is the first parameter and which is the next one so let me define an array here so when i start typing a then it goes to the next one like a plus three and again it goes to the next and i can see which parameter i am currently filling in it so it can help you a lot if you are using standard library functions and you need help in that so it can help you find the function and also filling the function let's start with some shortcut keys of CLIA, which can be very interesting so let's see my code so i uh, i am on a line i just press ctrl c and it copies the whole line I paste it. So I want to rename all of the X's to Z. So I use Alt and J to select all of the X's. Look like this. And I change all of the X's to Z like this. And then I want to add this function f for the z array 2. So what I do is first adding a occlude here. So I, I added braces here and I again press control C and then press control V. This pastes the whole line. And again, I use alt and J to change all of them to Z. Yeah, not Y. Another way to make several cursors is using Alt, Shift and using mouse click. So let's see. So I first remove this line using Ctrl and Y like this. It removes the whole line. So I copy paste this line again. Then I start by keeping alt and shift i click on the places that i want to move my cursor to then i remove them and change in change them to z for example the next thing about shortcut keys is to find definition of functions for example you want to see where the function f is defined that's enough to hold control and click on F. It will jump on the function definition. You can do the same for std functions like this. It jumps to the other function into the library. And also consider the case that you jumped somewhere and you want to come back. It's enough to press Control Alt and back i mean the arrow to left and if you want to go forward the next place you were in your cursor were in you can move it to right i mean control alt right so you can switch between the places that your cursor cursor was this was just the first part of how to use c line in competitive programming like the video and subscribe to our page to see the next videos too and we want to cover a lot of other CLIM features like debugger, sanitizer, automatic output and all of that in our next videos. See you soon. Bye.